I've finally been told that uh, we are about to start racing. Again, 16 teams hurtling down 400 metres, the steepest soapbox derby course in the UK. And do please give these drivers and their cars plenty of encouragement as they hurtle past at speeds of up to 50 miles per hour. That's what I'm promised. We shall see. I'm suspicious of that fact. Our first team is Team Savage. Bear number two. A team of James and Guy Savage from Evesham. James is the driver. They've been racing soapboxes on and off for over 20 years. And their cart has full suspension and disc brakes, which annoyingly is better than my car. They came second last year. Will they go one better this time round? Last year's winning team was Team C12. They won in a time of 25.79 seconds. That's the kind of time people will be looking to emulate or beat today. So the first team to go very shortly is Team Savage. And Team Savage are underway, starting off coming down through the chicane. This is where the carts really start to pick up speed. The second half of the course is the steepest and the fastest part. Safely navigated its way through the twisting, turning hay bales. The clock now approaching 24 seconds. This is the narrow part of the course. Give James a wave as he goes by. <laughs> clock is still running and we're waiting for him to cross the finishing line in 39.9 seconds. Well done to Team Savage, our first safe route down the course, 39.9 seconds. Next to take the course are Team Low Expectations. That's what they've called themselves, which smacks of confidence. Ross is the driver and the builder. Shona has also helped, and Evie is the support dog. They're from Westbury, and when asked what we can expect from their attempt, they replied, not much. So everything to play for. They've been building their cart on and off for the past six months, and this is the first time they have ever entered an event of this type. And their team motto is, oops. So anything could happen, really. Yeah, oh, Team Low Expectations that. taking their place at the top. It's a rolling start once they break the beam. That's when the clock begins. And they are underway through the first chicane. Team Low Expectations picking up speed now, nearly four miles per hour. Might get into double figures. No, as steady as she goes. There we go. Trailing the Union Jack. That's what we like to see. British bonkers at their best. Coming close to a minute now on the time, still the client, the clock hasn't stopped. Will they be under a minute? Yes! 58 seconds on the nose. Well done for Team 3. Low expectations. Well, they've lived up to their name. Our next team is cart number four. This is L2. They're from Westbury as well. Their intention is to get down the hill in one piece. We wish them well with that. It's the second time at this event. We're waiting for them to begin. 
John is their builder, boss and all-round designer. Louise is the driver and navigator. Lucy the tea maker, bacon butty supplier. And Jack is their support dog. Combined team age of 113 years. And they are off, coming down through the chicane. So far, the fastest time of the day is 39.9 seconds. This is Team L2. Can they put down a first good time? Don't forget, all teams get three runs. It is the fastest time that counts. Going pretty wide there through the chicane, but still steering safely. This is the narrow part. Nicely done. The design of all of these soapboxes, they've been asked to decorate them with a historical engineering theme. And there is a prize for the best cart in that respect. And their time, 41.7 seconds. Well done to Team L2, 41.7 seconds. Now, Ed Shed Restorations are next. And these are quite seasoned soapbox racers. Edward and Lee are the team, combined age of 104. They're from Westbury. Taking them three days to build their cart and two years to perfect. They have their own restoration business, restor restoring old classic cars. Big on social media, they've got their own YouTube channel, Instagram, etc, etc. But what can they do here? This is cart number five, Ed Shed Restorations, and they are underway. The clock has started. This is their first run, the first run of the three. Second run is at one o'clock, and the third at three o'clock. Picking up speed as they approach the fastest part of the course. Oh, a bit jerky there through the chicane, but still on track. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wobbling like a jelly. Round the corner. Crossing the line, 39.8 seconds. Well done. And that is first place by a tenth of a second so far. 39.8 seconds. Now our next team is a school's team, it's Wiltshire College and University Centre. David Vivian is the builder and chief engineer and multiple students have helped out. They're aiming to be in the top three, taking them around about 20 hours to build their cart. They're at the top, the course is live, the clock reset to zero. 39.8 seconds now the time to beat on the first run they say they are in it to win it david the driver races formula fords at castle Coombe, so he knows what he's doing behind the wheel and the clock has started they are underway oh this is looking pretty nifty to begin with very aerodynamic design. Oh, 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 oh dear. Promised so much, delivered so little. The red, the red flag is out. No brakes, no brakes, no brakes. Oh, what a surprise, Dave. And the clock has been stopped. That's going to be a did not finish for Wiltshire College and University Centre. Car number six. But all is not lost, they have two further runs. And it's not an average of their times, it is simply the best time that counts. It's fun. It's fun. It's 
so they will get to try again. Coming down now just to finish the run. But this doesn't count. But they're quick, you see. Look at that. If only what could have been broken dreams. It's a cruel life. Well, we hope for much better things for them in race two at one o'clock. Cart number seven is next, the big cheese. <laughs> this team comprises of Colin, the builder and machinist, and Matt, fellow builder and tinkerer. Combined team age of 81 years, and they are from Bristol and Bradford on Avon. They are promising style and reasonable speed. I like the modesty in that. Taken 14 weekends to build their cart. They built it for last year's event, but have changed the look this time round. The course is live once again, and we are awaiting cart number seven, the big cheese. Team of Colin and Matt, not too sure which one is the driver. Sometimes the teams change the drivers over the three races so that uh, different people get a chance to experience the thrill of the rush. They're underway, the clock is ticking. Safely through the first chicane. Approaching the fastest part of the course. Sort of a space shuttle design. Steady as she goes. 30 seconds has passed. Nicely navigated. There they go. Look at the flames. <laughs> And the clock stops at 43.5 seconds. Well done to them. I'm here. 
Cart number eight is team name Swordfish. Quite a big team this, Sam, Joe, Dan, Josh, Victoria, Callum, Aaron. The team is aged between 20 and 36. They are based at the Royal Naval Air Station in Yeovilton. And it's taken them three weeks to build their particular kite. And this is their first ever attempt at a soapbox derby. Currently the time to beat is 39.8 seconds for the first run. Still some way off last year's winning time of 25.79. But as the three races progress, people tend to become a bit more reckless. Take their foot off the brake. The course is live, waiting for cart number eight to break the beam and start the clock. Sam is the driver. And he is underway. Team Swordfish, team number eight. Aerodynamic design. Graceful is the word I'd use. They might, they might be silent. That's an aeroplane. Oh, yeah, no. That's yeah. Top Gun. Yeah. Here comes Sam. Give Sam a wave. He's got he's got time to give you an autograph. <laughs> <laughs> There he goes, with a time of June. And crosses the line, 55.3 seconds. Well done to Team Sawfish. They'll get faster, don't you worry. 55.3 seconds. Car 9 about to come down, Charlie's Angels, this, uh, this is a classic car restoration company based in Westbury, Richard is their driver, a combined team age of 137, that's one baby and a 136 year old, no. Taking them three months to build this. They were called TI Developments, that's what's up on the screen, but they've changed their name to Charlie's Angels. And they're off. Now this is looking pretty speedy. After the last run. Through both chicanes down to the narrowest part of the course. The clock approaching the 30 second mark. Nicely done. Well navigated. Richard is behind the wheel. None of these teams got a practice run, by the way, which sounds... Oh, 39.5 seconds. That is the fastest run of the day so far. 39.5 seconds for Charlie's Angels. Another local team is next up, cart number 10, the Magnificent Seven. Martin is the driver, Pete the builder, 
ably assisted by Matt and another Matt and T-Boy Mark. Combined team age of 284. And when asked what we can expect from their attempt, they said carnage. So this should be a photo opportunity. Magnificent Seven and crew are off. The clock is running. Taken them three months to build this cart. It's the first time they've ever attempted anything like this. Local West routine. Why well, they're taking in the sights. Lovely crown atop of their cart. But will they be kings of the course today? It's, <laughs> it's steady progress. Uh, very patriotic. <laughs> it's just so British, isn't it? There we go. The clock stops at 52.6 seconds. Room for improvement, I'd say. 52.6. Well done to them. And their cart is made of a beer barrel, apparently. I reckon that cart will be getting lighter as the day goes on. Team 12 and X, Waste to Wonder. This is a school team. Michael Amos is at the wheel. The team hails from Dilton Marsh. That's all the information I have. If I told you more, I'd be lying. It is quite unusual to have school teams mixing it with experienced engineers, but that's what's so exciting. The clock is running. Will the youth win the day today? Waste to wonder, cart number 12. Picking up speed as they get to the steepest part of the course, safely through the second chicane. Clock passes 20 seconds, he scratches his nose. Seems very relaxed behind the wheel. <laughs> he held his nerve, held the line. Looks like another safe run. And the clock stops at 45.4 seconds. Very respectable. Well done to them. 45.4. That puts them into sixth place. <laughs> Right, cart number 14 is Team Landmark. Now, these are uh, engineers, I believe. Bill is their builder, combined team age of 180, hailing from Wiltshire. They're promising a solid effort. We can ask for no more. Taking two weeks to build their cart. Here they come. 30 seconds has passed, but picking up speed. This could be a pretty nifty time, actually. A 
And the clock stops on 43 seconds dead. Fifth place, 43 seconds for Team 14 Landmark. Another school team next, cart number 16, Razor Sharp with a spark. They're called, their driver is Izzy. And they are from Marlborough. Taken them three months to build their cart, first time racing. These are the last few carts now of the first run and Razor Sharp with a Spark are underway. Now there appears to be a slight technical hitch that they are moving but the clock isn't. Safely down through the course. Flag flying in the breeze. There they go. Well done, Izzy. Izzy and Jason are the team. Well done to them, but we don't have a time. Something has gone wrong with the time. They didn't break the beam at the top of the course. So I'll have to get back to you on that, and we will. Uh, people way above my pay grade will decide what to do. I know nothing. We are just sorting out the issues with the timing. Uh, because the first race started slightly late today, it has knocked the schedule back slightly. So the second run of races will take place at 1.30 instead of 1 o'clock. And the third run will be at 3.30 instead of 3 o'clock. So the subsequent runs, the second and third races, will be at 1.30 and 3.30 instead of 1 and 3. Whilst we're sorting out this technical timing hitch, gives me a chance to thank our sponsors, Honeystone Web Design and White Horse Computer Aided Design, Landmark Support Services, Torn, Arc Limited, White Horse Equestrian Centre, 
and Carrington Smith, our official timekeeper. All the music today provided by Westbury Festival, and we'd also like to thank Westbury Ford, Goodings Accounts, and Newland Homes. I'm told the course is now live once again. We have a timing for cart 16, razor sharp with a spark of 49 seconds. Forty-nine seconds for cart sixteen as we await cart seventeen to start their first run of the day. And they are off. This is the Tesla Twins. They are from Trowbridge, taken them um, a couple of weeks to build their cart. This is the narrowest part of the course before they pick up the speed before, oh, just clipped that hay bale, but holding steady. Slightly wide round the bend, but uh, safely down in a time of 45.3 seconds. Well done to them. Team 17, the Tesla Twins, 45.3 seconds. A lot of teams coming in around about the 40, 45 second mark. Cart still to come to finish the first run of the Westbury Whitehall Soapbox Derby. Next is cart number 19, Bootlace Bugatti. This team hails all the way from Derbyshire. That's commitment for you. It's taken them six years to build this. Andrew is the designer, the builder and the driver, and Jed is the logistics manager. Combined team age of 54 years. When asked what we can expect from their attempt, one word answer, speed. Promises, promises. Bootlace Bugatti, team number 19 at the top of the course. About to start their first descent. Best time of the day so far is 39.5 seconds. They've broken the beam, the clock has started, they're underway, and this does look fast. Here they come through the first chicane, nicely handled. Oh, 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 oh! oh. Well, they promised speed and they delivered speed. Possibly just a little bit too much. The red flag is out. We hope everybody is all okay. Andrew is the driver. And that was looking fast. Hopefully both driver and car are fine. Two further attempts today. 1.30 and 3.30 and they get the chance in between to tinker with the carts and indeed any injuries to themselves but fingers crossed not <laughs> so it'll just take a minute or two to clear the course replace the hay bales bruised pride is all that's been damaged fingers crossed I'm sure Andrew will 
like to complete the course if he can. But that was looking quick. Still waiting to clear the course. It's, it's not bad. Now it looks to me as if the cart is unable to make it down by itself. That's a sad sight to see. Bootlace Bugatti. He's on the low loader, making a, a sad descent down the course. Fingers crossed, everything will be okay for their second run at 1.30. Two more teams to come, which is the Westbury and Warminster Youth Club. And the last team of this first run is Acceleronis. So here comes the sad side of Bootless Bugatti. This, this timing won't count. <laughs> Getting a lift isn't allowed. And a lovely sympathy round of applause. That's beautifully patronising. <laughs> They'll be back, I'm sure of it. We wish them well. As I mentioned earlier, none of the teams got a practice run on this course, so this is the first time they are driving down it, so we expect the times to get quicker as the day goes on, as they get more used to the course, where they can take a few more risks, take their foot off the brake, cut a few corners. But the time to beat is still 39.5 seconds. The course is live for our penultimate team in the first run, Team 20. Westbury and Warminster Youth Club. So this is a young team. Ben is the driver. Took them two weeks to build their cart. Their team motto is not here for a long time, here for a good time. And they are off. The clock is running. And there they are. Here comes Ben. He would have seen what happened before. Nearly got caught out at exactly the same point. Through the narrow part of the course. Chicanes all the way down. 30 seconds has passed. Here comes Ben. Steady and respectable. That's a good first marker to put down. And he crosses the line and the clock stops on 46 seconds. Well done, Ben. That puts uh, that team into ninth place. 46 seconds.
So we come to our final team of the first round, Team 21, Acceleramus. They're from West London. Taken them six months to build their cart. They've done over 50 of these events. They first competed in 2016, but they are experienced soapboxers. We expect great things. They promise lots of sweat, but hopefully no tears. Time will tell, the clock is ticking. Could this be the fastest run of the first few races? We shall see, safely through the first chicane. A very aerodynamic design, narrow, low to the ground. A flash of blue in the Westbury countryside. This could be quick. Safely navigated, they know what they're doing, this team. And this is impressive, 34.5 seconds, by far the fastest time of the day so far. Thirty four point five seconds for Team Twenty One Acceleramus. They took more than ten seconds off second place, but it's not an average over the day, it is simply the fastest time that counts. Every team gets three races. The next race is at one thirty and the third and final run at three thirty. Right, we are gearing up for the second run of the day on the big screen are the positions so far for the 16 teams. Two teams didn't finish, but at the top is Acceleramus, 34.5 seconds, second Charlie's Angels, 39.5 and 39.8 seconds for Ed Shed in third place. Our first team, Acceleramus, they achieved a top speed of 35.21 miles per hour. They'll be looking to go faster in run number two in about 10, 15 minutes time. A reminder that all teams get three runs and it is the fastest run that counts at the end of the day. Not an average of the three times, but simply their fastest run down the, the course. That's the one that counts. The other two times are rejected. Two teams still to get a time on the score sheet. Wiltshire College and University Centre, they didn't finish. And neither did Bootlace Bugatti, who were looking very, very quick indeed. But Acceleramus are the team to beat in first place at the moment, with their time of 34.5 seconds, which is still some nine seconds behind last year's winning time. So we do expect the times to get quicker, as the day goes on and the teams get more used to the course and perhaps take a few more risks.
Once the racing is finished today, there is still plenty happening here this afternoon. Live music down on the stage in the main field. Ushti Baba, festival favourites, they're on stage round about 4.40. At around about 5.35 is the Soapbox Award Ceremony for first, second, third place and also for the best decorated soapbox. All of the competitors have been asked to decorate their carts with a historical engineering theme. And then from 6 till 7 o'clock, one of the best tribute bands in the UK, Complete Madness. The Madness Tribute Band, they're on stage live at 6 o'clock. Right, the course is now live. We are awaiting our first runner in run two, which is cart number two, Team Savage, currently lying in fourth place. In their first run, they crossed the line in 39.9 seconds. Some five and a half seconds behind the race leader. And Team Savage are underway. Don't forget to give them plenty of encouragement as they whiz past. James is the driver. They've been racing soapboxes on and off for over 20 years. This is their second run of three as they pass the 20-second mark down through the narrow part of the course. Well handled through the chicanes. And they cross the line in a time of 33.6 seconds, taking a good six seconds off their time. 33.6 seconds. Well done to them. So Team Savage are getting quicker. Our next team to go is Low Expectations. 
their first run they clocked up a time of 58 seconds plenty of room for improvement When asked what we can expect from them today at the Soapbox Derby, they replied, not much. Doesn't bode well, does it? And they're underway, they've broken the beam, the clock has started, here comes low expectations. 58 seconds, their first run, what can they do second time around? safely through the first chicane picking up speed this is the steepest part of the course and in fact this is the steepest soapbox derby course in the UK through the second chicane holding a nice line picking up speed 25 seconds pass looking to beat their previous time of 58 now the narrow part of the course squeezing through the hay bales the Union Jack proudly fluttering in the breeze And it looks like they too are going to do better than their first time. 48.8 seconds. 10 seconds quicker. 48.8 seconds. Teams didn't get a practice run on this course. So their first run earlier this morning would have been the first time they tried it. Now this is cart four L two. They are next. They are currently in fifth place. And they are underway, 41.7 seconds in their first run. A graceful, steady descent so far. Oh, and they're taking some hay bales with them, and that's brought them to a grinding halt. Give it, give it a jiggle. Oh, hang on, red flag's out. Caught the hay bale just at the end of the second chicane and that looks like that's the end of L2's second run. The clock now ticking on way past their first run time. Doesn't look like there's any damage to the cart though. They should be able to continue their journey down. Fingers crossed. They don't run over one of the stewards. Oh, I know there seems to be a very buckled front left wheel. They do get the opportunity to tinker with their cars and make any necessary repairs in between the races. Just about still roadworthy. So Team L2 will not be improving on their first run time. A lovely ripple of sympathy applause as they pass by. Warms the heart. The clock's still going. One minute fifty now. <laughs> Cart number five is Ed Shed Restorations. They are currently lying in third place. In their first run, they achieved a time of 39.8 seconds. What have they got for us second time around? Local team from Westbury. Their aim is not to crash and they hope to win. 
Edward and Lee are the uh, make up the team. And they restore classic cars. Will this be a classic performance from them? as we wait for them to start their second run. It's a rolling start when they break the laser beam, the clock starts. The 400 meter course, dropping 60 meters in elevation. And a possible top speed, I'm told, of 50 miles per hour. So far though, the top speed of the day has been 35.2 miles per hour. What have Ed Shed got in store? Here they come, they're underway. 39.8 seconds to beat. That's their first time. Slightly wobbly through the second chicane. Down through the narrowest part of the course. A little bit wobbly, but still going. There they go. Classic shopping trolley design. And it looks like they've got slower. 42.2 seconds for Ed Shed. Not what they were looking for, but they've still got their third and final run at 3.30. 42.2 seconds. So Ed Shed will drop down the table. as we turn our attention to one of the school teams. Now this is Wiltshire College and University Centre. They didn't finish in the first run. Clipped to hay bale and their run came to a sudden halt. The driver is David, he's 39. He's been assisted in the build with his students aged between 16 and 17 years. It took them 20 hours to build their cart. And David behind the wheel does race Formula Fords at Castle Coombe, so he should know what he's doing. But they didn't finish first time round. They're underway again now. What can they do in their second run? Wiltshire College and University Centre are on their way. Oh, oh! <laughs> Now, this is better than they did last time. It's a very sleek, low, aerodynamic machine. This is the fastest part of the course. Neatly done. This could be quick. This could be quick indeed. Very nicely done. 34.1 seconds. Thirty-four point one puts them into the lead as things stand. That's a huge turnaround. They didn't finish in the first run, and now they are in the lead. Thirty-four point one seconds. Well done to the Wiltshire College and University Centre. That's put the cat amongst the pigeons. My mistake, sorry, they're in second place, just behind Team Savage, who went first. So they're in second place with 34.1. Team Savage, just half a second quicker on 33.6 seconds. So only half a second now between first and second place. The Big Cheese are team number seven. Car seven, they're up next. First run, 43 and a half seconds. They hail from Bristol and Bradford upon Avon. It took 14 weekends to build their cart, and it all comes down to this sunny weekend today. The Big Cheese, cart number seven. They were in seventh place after their first run. They'll be looking to move their way up the leaderboard in their car, looking designed like the space shuttle. Here they come, they've safely through the first chicane. Oh, 
They've lost the nose cone, but they're still going. That happened with the real space shuttle, didn't it? They, they sort of dissembled. The, the nose cone would drop off and they lose the booster rockets. It's all part of the design. Considerably lighter when they finished as they cross the line in 37.3 seconds. Puts them into third place. It seems most teams are taking their foot off the brake in the second run. And we expect that continue to continue with the third run as the teams get used to the course. Throw caution to the wind. Just removing the debris from the course as they left half of their cart behind. That's a nice memento for someone to take home. Our next team is car number eight. This is Swordfish. This team hails from Yeovilton. Sam is the driver. And this is their first ever attempt at a soapbox derby. It took them three weeks to build their cart. Fifty-five point three seconds was the first time of the day, which puts them in towards the bottom of the board. The team is aged between twenty and thirty-six. Alongside Sam the driver, we've got Joe, Dan, Josh, Victoria, Callum and Aaron as well. A big team effort, this one. And the clock is running. Here comes cart number eight, Team Swordfish. Again, it's quite a bulky cart. Oh. <laughs> Someone's been to the beer tent. Steady as she goes, dressed like a fighter pilot. Stylish, if not speedy. Go on, Sam, give it some welly. That noise you heard was the sound barrier being broken. 51.7 seconds puts them into sixth place. A slight improvement there for team number eight, Swordfish. But room for plenty more. Cart's number nine is next to go, Charlie's Angels. Now they were pretty quick in their first run. They were in second place, in fact, after the run earlier this morning, with a time of 39.5. The fastest time now is 33.6, so they've got some work to do to catch up. Richard is the driver behind the wheel. The team comes from Westbury. They are a classic car restoration company. It took them three months to build their contraption. And the clock is running. Here comes Charlie's Angels with Richard behind the wheel. They were in second place. 
it's pretty fast slowed down by that hay bale but this is now the fastest part of the course the steepest part and also the trickiest to navigate it's the narrowest part as well there goes Richard and he stops the clock at 35.6 seconds that puts him into third place a slight improvement on their first run so they are still very much in the running just need to tidy up the course up near the top where they clip that hay bale There you see the times on the big screen. First place currently, Team Savage, 33.6 seconds. Second place, Wiltshire College, 34.1. Celeramis, who were in first place after the first run, still to go in their second run. They are the last of the carts to come down. Will they drop further down the board or will they retain the lead? Cart number 10 is next, the Magnificent Seven and crew. Another local team from Westbury. Martin is your driver. Assisted by Pete the Builder, Matt and Matt, Pit and Paint crew, and Mark the T-Boy. First time they've ever entered a soapbox derby. Took them three months to build their particular machine and they are underway with their second run. A resplendent crown at the top of their vehicle. Glinting gold in the sunshine. A flash of gold as they speed by. Oh, oh, oh. He seemed to, oh no, just push through them. Go on. Don't go round, just push through the hay bales. That would have slowed them down somewhat. They were in 10th place after the first run. I don't think their second run is going to be any faster. It might just be by a, a few seconds. And they cross the line in 45.7 seconds. Well done to the Magnificent Seven. Once again, a few repairs of the course as our last competitors decided just to push on through the hay bales. The team waiting at the top now is cart number 12. They're called Waste to Wonder, another one of our junior teams, a school team hailing from Dilton Marsh. They were in 12th place after the first run. And they are changing their drivers uh, over each run. Alex will be behind the wheel this time round and uh, Vince will be the driver in the third run at half past three. But this is Alex's turn. Still a red flag on the course at the moment. Just building up the tension. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
The red flag goes away, the course is live once more. Ready for cart number 12, Waste to Wonder, to do their thing. Forty five point four seconds first time around. I think nearly every team bar one so far has increased their speed and their time over the first run. And don't forget they get a third crack of the whip at half past three. That's when all the wheels have come off. And the clock is a ticking. Here comes Alex driving waste to wonder. Through the first chicane, here comes the second chicane. And on to the steepest and fastest part of the course. Very gracefully done. Forty-five point four last time. This looks like it's going to be a very similar time. Forty-three point seven seconds. A slight improvement. Sixth on this second run. Our next team is cart number 14, Team Landmark. They were lying in sixth place after the first run. Their time of 43 seconds exactly. Some 10 seconds off the current leader. This team is from Wiltshire. Combined age of 180. Took them two weeks to build their cart. And this is their first ever soapbox derby. Will it be their last? And the clock is running. Here comes Team Landmark. I think it still says Waste to Wonder on your screens, but this is actually Team 14. There we go, Landmark on their way down. Safely through the chicanes, the narrow part of the course, neatly and nimbly done. And this looks a much better time for them. Third fastest on the second run, 35.3 seconds. That's much faster. Taken eight seconds off their time. And less than hmm, two seconds behind the current leader. So Landmark are very much in the race. It's another junior team, another school team to go next. Cart 16, razor sharp with a spark. That's what they're called. They're from Marlborough. 
drivers Izzy and Jason. And this is actually uh, one of their A-level practical projects. Just a bit of coursework, this. <laughs> Took three months to build. In the first run, they did it in 49 seconds, and they are underway. Don't forget to give them some encouragement as they come by. Safety through both chicanes. Forty-nine seconds is a personal time to beat from the first run. This looks quicker. And they cross the line in 40.5. That's a, a big improvement. Well done to them. 40.5 seconds for Razor Sharp with a spark. Next up is the Tesla Twins, a team heralding from Trowbridge, combined age of 93. Two weeks it took them to build their cart. And they were in eighth place after the first run, finishing in a time of 45.3 seconds. The team motto is victory through harmony, which I think is the same as Arsenal. Will they finish second as well? They break the beam and the clock starts. Here we go. The Tesla twins on their second run. Oh, ah, caught by the chicane. And now stuck in the hedgerow. That second chicane has been the trickiest part of the course for several of our competitors. Just trying to readjust as they steer their way through. Hopefully no damage to the cards and all will be well for their third run. Not a good sign when the buggy makes its way up. Maybe the cart is damaged and unable to make its way down under its own steam. That will go down as it did not finish, so they still have their first run time of 45.3 seconds.
He's having to take the car. Oh no. Dad! He's having to take the car. That's a sad end to the second run for the Tesla twins, but again, they do get the chance to make any repairs before their third and final run at half past three. Fingers crossed they'll be back on the course for the third attempt. There we go, give us a wave. Hey. Bruised pride, nothing worse than that. Now, the next team to go would have been Bootlace Bugatti. They were our next team in the first run, but they had a spectacular crash in the first run and didn't finish. And it appears that their cart is no longer roadworthy, so they have had to withdraw from the competition. So no cart 19 this time around, and they were quick. A little too quick, in fact. That means we move on to cart 20, which is another schools team. This will be Westbury and Warminster Youth Club. Their first run, they completed in 46 seconds. Ben Cook is the driver. took two weeks to build their cart and this is the first time they've ever attempted such an event as a soapbox derby here for a long time no sorry not here for a long time here for a good time that's their team motto and they are underway ben is underway for westbury and warminster youth club this is the bit where people get stuck it's happened again caught the hay bale it's slowing him down. Can he shake it off? <laughs> well, that's just humiliating. It's that same point every time. A little too speedy into that second chicane, unable to correct the steering. Catch one of those hay bells and it's pretty much game over. But Ben's still going. Give him a chair as he comes by, spitting straw out of his mouth. Well done, Ben. And Ben stops the clock. Oh, one minute point four seconds. So, 60.4 seconds for Westbury and Warminster Youth Club. That is slower, obviously, than their first run due to that collision with the hay bale. And we only have one cart to come down in the second run. Now, this final cart to come down, Team 21, Acceleramus, they were the quickest in the first run. They were in first place. They came down in 34.5 seconds. That lead is now gone to Team Savage in 33.6 seconds. So, what can Acceleramus do? Can they reclaim their place at the top of the leaderboard before heading into the third and final race at half past three? This is the team with probably the most experience. They first competed in Soapbox Derbies in 2016 and have done over 50 events so far. Took six months to build their cart and they have traveled here today all the way from West London. Just clearing up the straw on the track through the age-old method of kicking it. 
A thumbs up for the race official, which means the track is once again live. So again, our final competitor in our second run this afternoon. They were leading after the first run. Car 21, Acceleramas from West London. Blink and you miss them. It's a very sleek aerodynamic machine. Will they still be top of the leaderboard after the second run? The clock is ticking, they're underway. Here comes cart number 21, Acceleramus. 33.6 seconds is the time to beat if they want to get back to the top of the leaderboard. Safely through the second chicane, very neatly done. Picking up speed now, through to the narrowest part of the course. Only 20 seconds have passed. Will they get back to the top? All eyes on the clock. And Acceleramma stops the clock at 30.9 seconds. Round of applause to them. That puts them back on top. 37.8 miles per hour was their top speed. Well done to Acceleramas. They have regained first place, but it is getting tighter at the top. So in first place, Acceleramas, 30.9 seconds. Second place, Team Savage, 33.6. And in third place is Wiltshire College, 34.1 seconds. But there's not much actually between the top five. Everything to play for in the third and final run at half past three. Right, the hour of 3.30 is fast approaching. Time for the third and final run in this year's Westbury Whitehall Soapbox Derby. As things stand, Team Acceleramus are currently in first place. Their fastest run, 30.9 seconds. In second place is Team Savage with 33.6 seconds. And in third place is Wiltshire College and University Centre with a time of 34.1 seconds. So this is the third and final run. Just to reiterate, it is not an average of their three times, simply their fastest time counts. So any team can still win. Most teams have been getting faster and faster as the day has progressed. And it's normally in the third and final run where we see teams let loose a little bit. Take their foot, foot off the brake and go for glory. Fifteen carts are about to make their final descent down the steepest soapbox course in the UK. Team 19, Bootlace Bugatti, they had a big crash in the first run. They didn't go in the second run and they will not be competing in the third or final run either. So they are out, but 15 carts still remain. And first down the hill in the third and final run is the team currently in second place. It's Cart 2, Team Savage. The driver is James. It's a family affair, James and Guy from Evesham. Now they won in Tetbury just a month ago, but they are currently in second place. And in fact, they came second last year here in Westbury as well. So... They're looking to go one further. They are at the top of the hill. And he is on his way. <laughs> Safely through with the chicanes. Give them all a big cheer as they come down. This is their third and final run. They need all the encouragement they can get. All eyes on the clock. 
and that stops at 36.3 seconds. 36.3. It's not as fast as their second run. So they will remain in second place for the time being, which is where they ended up last year. Will it be second place again for Team Savage? Their fastest run was the second run of 33.6 seconds. Next up is cart number three, Low Expectations. They are currently on 14th place. Their time so far been 58 seconds and 48.8. Plenty of room for improvement. Ross is the gentleman behind the wheel. A thumbs up for the marshal. <laughs> In cart three, low expectations are at the top of the hill and about to begin their third and final row. Lovely And he is on his way. Here comes Ross. Built this cart with the help of Shona. Support from Evie the dog. Safely through the first chicane. This is the bit where people seem to get a little bit caught in the second chicane by taking it too fast, but slow and steady so far. Come on, Ross. Let's finish with a flourish. There we go, the Union Jack, fluttering in the breeze, you love to see it. And low expectations cross the line in a time of 45.1, that's their best of the day, well done to them, 45.1 seconds. Next to come down the hill is cart number four, Team L2, currently in ninth place. Now, they didn't finish in their second run, so their best time is still from their first run of 41.7 seconds. Louise is the driver and the navigator of this vehicle. Been building this car on and off over the past few months. <laughs> and this is their second time here in Westbury Soapbox Derby, and indeed their second ever event. And they are underway, here they come down the hill. Taking this a bit steadier than the second run where they clipped a hay bale and were brought to a halt. This seems like a much more leisurely drive on the countryside all weekend. That front tire is fun. Is that front right? Down to the narrowest part of the course, the steepest part. Chance to pick up some speed, the clock ticking away. Their time of 41.7 isn't going to be beaten. There you go, that's graceful. Graceful if not speedy. And the clock stops for Team L2. Are they going to beat the minute mark? Ooh, just on one minute exactly. Well done to them. So, they didn't manage to better their first run. How many clubs come down there? 
Cart 5, Ed Shed Restorations are next to race. No, because there's other people that are. Now, they were one of the few teams that went slower in their second run than in their first run. What can they pull out of the bag in their third and final attempt? A local team based in Westbury. They restore classic cars. Can they pull something out of the bag in the final race? Camera's not going to work so well. Yeah, let's see the camera's going to be after that one. <laughs> but guess who's up there there now? You're photographing everything. The clock is underway. Here comes Ed Shed, cart number five. Safety oh, through the first chicane. Here comes the trickiest second chicane. A few teams have fallen foul at this point. But there we go, nicely handled, picking up speed. No, he's actually moving. 20 seconds and counting. Nicely done. All eyes on the clock. And Ed Shed get their fastest time of the day, 36.2 seconds. Well done to Ed Shed Restorations. They are first in this third and final run. But not the fastest time of the day so far. That's still with Acceleramus who will be going last as they have been more than the races so far. They are the final team to descend. Now the next team, cart number six, are currently in third place. This is a youth team. This is Wiltshire College and University Centre. They didn't finish in the first race. Second run, they got 34.1 seconds. And they could really be a surprise winner here. If they managed to knock another few seconds off, they could really be in the mix. They're underway. <laughs> David at the wheel. David races Formula 4 to Castle Coombe. He is in it to win it, he says. He's under the ground, that boy. Can he beat his best time so far? It's low, it's sleek, it's fast. We're looking at the clock. 30.3 seconds. That's their fastest time of the day. 37 miles per hour was their peak speed. And that currently puts them in first place. Huge congratulations to Wiltshire College and University Centre. Again, one of our youth teams. Currently in first place by just 0.6 of a second. That was spectacular. I did say they could do something to shake things up a little bit. We still have the, the leader, previous leader, uh, to come. They are racing last in this final run. But next up is Team 7, the Big Cheese. From Bristol and Bradford on Avon. Colin and Matt are the team behind the Big Cheese. They were in sixth place after the second run. They've been getting faster, 43.5, then 37.3. If they can knock another seven seconds off, they'll, they'll be in the mix as well. This one is designed like the space shuttle. The nose cone fell off. Oh! <laughs> and it's still going. Still in flight. Here comes the big cheese. The nose cone was gaffer taped back on. And they finished their third and final run with a time of 36.6 seconds. 
That's the fourth fastest time of this run, and it is their fastest time of the day so far. Stop. I can still see. I can still see. Cart number eight is another aeronautically designed cart. This team hails from the Royal Naval Air Station of Yeovilton. Sam is in the cockpit, and the team consists of Joe, Dan, Josh, Victoria, Callum, and Aaron. Their fastest run so far was uh, 51.7 seconds. So they're currently in 15th place. It's not the most aerodynamic of carts, considering it's designed like, to look like a plane. Not the fastest, but it looks brilliant. What can Team 8 Swordfish do when they're in their third and final row? Matty, stop it. The course is live, we are awaiting the clock to start. It's a rolling start, a laser beam when it's broken it signifies they're on their way down the hill and here comes Sam. Right. In his fighter jet designed soapbox. <laughs> Here comes the difficult second chicane. Well handled. And onto the steepest and fastest part of the course. This looks like it could be their fastest run so far. 51.7 is what they achieved in the second run. Oh, oh, steady. Little dip of the wings. And Swordfish finished the day with a time of 50.3 seconds. That's their best so far. Well done to them. That's the sixth fastest run in the third run of carts. And they have made steady improvement with each run. And you're sat in a rolling tray on Look at that screen over there. Cross join. <laughs> Team 9 is Charlie's Angels. A change of driver this time around. Martin is now behind the wheel. Driving in honour of his father, Charlie, hence the name of the team. Hail from Westbury. And this is their first time ever in a soapbox dive. First run 39.5, second run 35.6, a similar improvement would put them near the top of the table. No, 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 like the last group. Oh my god. This is so good. Oh my god. Johnny! Here's Johnny! Johnny! Team 9, Charlie's Angels, are about to start their descent. 400 metres from top to bottom, start to finish of the course, and they, uh, they drop 60 metres in height in elevation over those 400 metres. It's the steepest soapbox course in the country. And here comes Martin. Here he comes. Nicely handled. This looks much quicker than their first two runs. Here he goes, all eyes on the clock. And a time of 32.6 seconds. Very well done. 32.6 for Charlie's Angels. That's the second fastest in this third and final run. 
second fastest again. And that's their fastest time of the day. It could see them on the podium. Everything still to play for. Once again, it's not an average of their three races. It is simply the fastest time that counts, whether that be in their first run, second or third. Cart number 10, Magnificent Seven and crew are next to race. Currently in 12th place after the second run. They shaved seven seconds off between their first and second times. They need to do something even more than that this time round. We're just uh, preparing a little bit of the track. The marshals being kept busy today. We've got uh, an Australian, a New Zealander, and an Irishman as the marshals. Um, thanks to them, an international team. Making sure the, sa uh, the track is safe and just replacing any bales that have been knocked. So as things stand, cart number six, Wiltshire College and University Centre are currently in the lead with a time of 30.3 seconds. Just 0.6 of a second behind Team Acceleramus, who will be going last in this third and final heat. And here comes cart number seven. Sorry, sorry number ten, the Magnificent Seven. They've improved as the races have gone on. Can they clock up their fastest time so far? Here he comes. The cart adorned with the England flag. That's a little bit wobbly. And Magnificent Seven stopped the clock on 41.6 seconds. That's their fastest run of the day. The sixth fastest in this third run of races. They've just got better and better, that's all we can ask. Next to race is another of our school teams from Dilton Marsh, Waste to Wonder. A different driver this time round. Vince is at the wheel. After the second run, they were in 10th place. Can Vince change their fortunes in their third and final run? He's underway, the clock is ticking. Fuck, that's gonna shit out of me. Go on, Shun. Oh, Safety through the second chicane. Give Vince a wave as he goes by. That's Team 12, Waste to Wonder from Dilton Marsh with a final time of 40.2 seconds. And that's their fastest time of the day as well. Continual improvements, impressive stuff. But as the race continues, nobody yet 
challenging Wiltshire College and University Centre, they're still at the top of the pile. I think we've only got about five or six teams still to go before everything is decided. Team 14, Landmark. They took eight seconds off their time between the first and second run. If they can do the same again, everything changes. This is Landmark's first attempt at a soapbox derby. They're underway. They were in fourth place after the second run. So they're in with a the shout. Oh, oh! That's the difficult second chicane. There comes a the red flag. That looks like the end of Landmark's challenge for glory. That second chicane has caught many teams out today. Take it too fast. And it comes back to bite you. When did he say that? Nothing worse than bruised pride. Still finishing the course. Well done. Well done, Landmark. Good effort. Went for it. And crosses the line in a time of 1 minute 13 seconds. So, Landmark's challenge sadly ends in failure. And we turn our attention to cart 16. Another of our youth teams. They were in eighth place after the second run. This is a school team, razor sharp with a spark. They are called. And this soapbox has been built to design as a part of their school practical coursework. The team comes from Morgan and they are underway. I was, I was walking home yesterday, yeah? I was feeling my coat, I was like, what's that? 49 seconds for the first run, down to 40.5 seconds for the second. Can they have improved first? Second chicken clear. Yeah, that's like a cheap bro. Yeah, that's like a cheap bro. Yeah, that's like a cheap bro. Down to the narrow part of the course. Oh, 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 no, no! Fingers crossed, everyone's okay. This was what tends to happen in the third and final run. People go for it. I appreciate the fact they, the, the fact they painted the underneath. That's nice. Nice support from our wonderful crowd here. I think everyone's okay. Driver seems to be unharmed. So sadly, that ends razor sharp with a Sparks campaign for this year.
That's a pretty buckled front right wheel. Yeah, give them some love, that's nice. Team of Izzy and Jason. A wave to the crowd, that's nice to see. Everybody's fine. Well done to Razor Sharp with a spark. Cart number 16. Off to the scrapyard. It'll just take a middle, minute or two to restore the course. <laughs> now I think by my calculations there are only three teams still to race in the third and final run. Next is Kart 17, the Tesla Twins. They didn't finish in the second run, they came a cropper. After them we have Westbury and Wormsday Youth Club, and then the last racer of the day is Acceleramus challenging for the win. They were in first place after the second run, and not anymore. But what can the Tesla twins do? They're next to go, part 17. 45.3 seconds, their best so far. Yeah, because you need to sit your exhaust. And they're underway. The team comes from Trowbridge. And this is their first ever soapbox derby. Can they get their way onto the podium? So far, very steady. Through the very narrow part of the course, nicely manoeuvred. A little way, a little up. A victory fist pump. And a final time of 40.5 seconds. Well done to them. That's the seventh fastest of the third runs. <laughs> Nothing like a victory fist pump when you're losing. <laughs> Just two carts to go. The penultimate team is Westbury and Warminster Youth Club. Now they were in 13th place after the second run. They've got to do something sensational to get themselves to the top of the leaderboard. But who knows? When the cook is the chap behind the wheel. It took them two weeks to build the uh, yes, as with many teams, it's their first ever soapbox done. The course is clear, thumbs up for the marshal. We await Westbury and Warminster Youth Club. What was the point that we took from Sam's? Their second run was, was substantially slower than their first because they, they hit a hay bale and dragged it down with them. 
Yours is a fair bit. What can they do this time? That's a joke. I think it was when I was in hospital. Your parents? My dad was getting it and he was giving it 100. And they are underway. 46 seconds, their fastest time so far. They need to be much, much quicker but to I challenge for the lead. Like, you do as much as you thought you could, like, yeah. Prizes for first, second and third place, yeah. and also the as best as decorated part or parts decorated this year with a historical engineering theme. Here comes Ben on his third and final run. Oh, oh, oh! What a bit of air! Well done, Ben. That's what we like to see. And that's their fastest time of the day, 38.3 seconds. Well done to them, 38.3 seconds. And so we turn our attention to the final team of the day, Team Acceleranus. They won in Tetbury last year. They were first after the second run, but they're not first anymore. Currently at the top of the leaderboard is Wiltshire College and University Centre. Their time of 30.3 seconds. They achieved a maximum speed of 37 miles per hour. Can Acceleranus pull it out the bag on the final run of the day? This team is from West London. They have competed in over 50 events. They are seasoned soapboxers. Will this be another win to add to their list? It's a bit though, when I'm like putting portfolios. Would you have to do like constant... The course is live. We await Team 21, the final run of the day, Team Accelerance. Your sister was doing I can see what was she doing? I feel like second year. Oh, you subtract. I feel like second year. I think as things stand now, they are in third place, but they were in first after the second round. Very interesting. I'm going to have to be. But at least you know what they have to do. They've got the experience. Honestly, going to be so honest. Yeah, you have to. Will this be the winning run? Otherwise, well, now you've got to level up each year, bro. I'm, I'm literally chilling. Like, there's people on my course who are And they're off. Here they come. Here comes Cart 21, Acceleramus. It's small, it's low, it's sleek, and it's fast. Through the first chicane. Here comes the second, where many have fallen foul. No safely navigated. Nicely done. On to the fastest part of the course. Squeezing through the hay bales. All eyes on the clock. And Acceleramus finish in a time of... There's your winner! 29 seconds dead. 39.8 miles per hour achieved. 29 seconds on the nose. That means in first place is Team Acceleramus. In second place is Wiltshire College and University Centre. And in third place is Charlie's Angels. Would you please give a huge round of applause to all of our teams today who have entertained us so magnificently. And huge congratulations to Acceleramus.
don't forget that there'll be some live music on the main stage in the main field very shortly. And then there will be the presentation ceremony for the Soapbox Derby. And then we end the afternoon's entertainment at 6 o'clock with one of the best tribute bands in the UK. Complete Madness taken to the stage at 6 p.m.